Yesterday, I had one of the most demotivating experiences I can ever recall in my life. So I want to try and share some of like the, the mindset tips and the way I was thinking about it to get over it, kind of. So what happened was yesterday, it was about 8 p.m. at night time, and I was the most tired I've ever felt, ever. Like, I just slumped down on my bed. I needed to sleep and it's like I've been I was very sleep deprived for the last couple of days so I was just so tired and I've never ever felt that much tired in my life and I thought and I, I wanted to sleep just go to bed then and there and then not wake up till the next morning obviously it's pretty early and I was like oh, I still got stuff to do I need to get this done I need to get that done so then I just I don't know after 10 minutes of lying there I just sucked it up got up somehow I got up I was so tired I cannot believe it I got up and about did some stuff and then when nine o'clock came around, I was like, I sat down on my desk and I was like, okay, I need to make a reel. I need to make an Instagram reel. And I was looking at like all my uh, recent bits of content and I was like, okay, well, this shit's just not it. Like I'm, I'm at like a stagnant, I've reached a stagnant amount of followers. I can't go up or down. My likes to views ratio is at like an all time low and everything's just bad. So I'm like, okay, something needs to change. I'm going to try to do something different for this one. I was trying to think about different like rebranding content ideas. What can I do to save my brand? And then I thought of a, I was watching, I actually thought for this video that I'm about to make, I'm going to lock in and instead of spending like 30, 40 minutes making a decent video, posting it and just being stuck, I'm going to actually lock in and try hard proper. So I watched a video, this guy was like saying, you need like to do this, pop that, that, that. So I tried all these like little like influencer like tips and tricks and I made I locked in for the next, I think it took me about almost three hours. I was working on this reel for from nine o'clock till almost 12 o'clock at night. And I just locked in, I made this really, really good sway, high quality reel. And I was like, okay, this is the one. This one's gonna pop up. I've literally been staring at my computer for the last two and a half hours, I'm cooking this one up and it's gonna pop off. It's gonna save my brain. It's gonna get so much views and it's gonna clutch up. Now I can just keep doing this. So then I posted it at midnight, just before midnight when I finished it, expecting like massive returns. Like I had so much hopes for this, like just save me. And like after about half an hour, I came back to it. And this is the worst, most demotivating feeling as a content creator. Put all this work in, you come back, I look at TikTok to see if it's got any views, how, how well it's doing, expecting mad numbers. I opened the app and I realized it's got zero fucking views. And it turns out it actually got, the TikTok actually shadow banned me for that content. And if you don't know what that means, basically shadow banning is like where they ban you without banning you. So like you're not banned as in like, you still have your account full access to it and everything. But they ban you with like your content, like they don't show it to anyone. It's stuck at zero views. It's like, it's there, but it's not like there. It's there for you, but no one else can see it pretty much. So I basically got shadow banned, which is just like some stupid excuse for banning me, violating some community guidelines, whatever bullshit, like unoriginal content, low quality content. I'm like, bro, how is this unoriginal content? I made this literally myself, just because I copied like a template. Like if this is unoriginal content, then every faceless Instagram account out there should be banned for unoriginal content. It's literally, I literally made it myself with just like a little template. It's like, whatever, fuck TikTok anyway, that's just gay. My main focus is Insta anyway, so I looked up, uh, I went on Insta, to see how it was doing there. It's got like three views, a couple likes, but that's just my friend, so it doesn't count. It's like, what the hell, man? I've just put so much effort into this. But that's actually the worst feeling, especially as a content creator. If you're a content creator, you'll know. That's the worst feeling when you put so much effort and it just massively underperforms. Like, I'm spending 30 minutes on these trash reels and they're getting like some views at least. And then I spent three hours on this God tier one and it gets absolutely nothing. So at this point I'm like pissed, I'm depressed, I'm just sad, demotivated, borderline KMS. And it's like, bro, I'm like, come on. So at this point it's like 1am and after being like dead tired five hours ago, now I can't even sleep because I've got so much like emotions and frustration and sadness going through my mind. And the thing is when one thing like that goes wrong, you just start contemplating your whole the whole world again. And you're thinking like, oh this ain't gonna work, this is not this is not it. 
this uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be poor forever. Might as well start looking for jobs now. This ain't gonna make me money. And it's like just start reevaluating everything. And that was the first time ever like that I actually heavily considered quitting, making these reels and like this brand that I'm growing. So just the most worst demotivating state ever. So before I went better, I'm like, okay, you know what? Bun TikTok I've already burned that off, but Insta sometimes can take time. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go to bed, wake up tomorrow morning, see if this Insta post does at least something better. Because sometimes that can take time. If I judged it a bit too early. So I go to bed, wake up. I wake up at like, I don't know, 10 or eight. I woke up at eight and then slept a bit more till 10, but I check my phone at eight and then see if it's done any good. And it's got like 16 views, like no, no likes, nothing. I'm like, Oh, fuck this, man. Now I'm just like, now I've reached the ultimate new time low of demotivation. Like, it's done now. Like, both, like, TikTok, Insta, fuck me over on both of them. Like, all that effort. Like, this is my last chance to save my brand and, like, do a, a new content idea, which it should blow up. The content was so high quality and good. But they just fucked it off, man. It's like these fucking agenda algorithms against me. So at this point, I'm so demotivated and I'm really considering quitting. But this is this is what this this what happened. This is the, the trick right here. So you, let's say you're doing something for like many hours a day and you really want it to work out, but you ain't seeing results. You keep doing it, keep doing it, no results. And you really want to quit. Think about this. Let's imagine that you quit. You quit the thing right now. Right now, you just quit, quit. I've quit my brand, I've quit. What do you do now? So you have all this extra time in the day, what are you gonna do now? Well, you're either thinking that like, there's two options you can go down. One, you can start looking for like the next thing, which is gonna fulfill that time, you're gonna start from the bottom, work your way up a bit. But you know, you won't truly really know inside that you're gonna reach the same point you did here, but you just, progress is stagnant, no results, you're gonna feel demotivated, you're gonna wanna quit, then you're gonna quit, then you're gonna find the next thing. And it's just this infinite cycle of, getting a bit and then going down and you're just t chasing your tail around. So that's just um, a recipe for guaranteed failure. So you don't want to do that. And then the second uh, option is even worse. I mean, you can just like quit the whole idea of like trying to do anything. You can just go back to like, I don't know, fucking around and playing video games, whatever. So obviously that's not an option either. And then the, the so they're, they're both like really bad guaranteed failure options. But the third one is if you're going to quit, and you're just gonna like basically do nothing. You're gonna quit. The two options are both guaranteed failure. If you stick it out, let's say you stick it out, you keep doing it, and you still continue to fail. I mean, worst case scenario, you can only match the other two results because the other two results were just failure anyway. But if you keep going and you keep failing, then that's just equal. It's just equal. So why would you, why would you take that option? But if you take this option, even if you do fail, if you keep going, there's a chance that someday eventually if you keep going you're going to just shoot up somewhere and the more you do it the more higher chance you'll have of eventually shooting up so now all of a sudden not quitting is by far the, is you just laid it out and by far the best option is not quitting you just keep going because if you do quit then then you're guaranteed not to get there but if you don't quit then yeah you won't get there for a while and it's going to be it's going to break even with the other option but there's a chance that it will eventually. Like there's a chance. And you know you're not gonna do anything better with your time anyway, so you might as well do it. Like if you've invested so much time into this already, that's basically a part of your life and it's it's implanted, it's part in your brain already. And you just have to stick it out. There's no other option because you don't, you're not gonna do anything with that time anyway. Like I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but if you keep wait a second. I lost my train of thought, but basically, the the if you keep going, you can the worst case scenario of keep going, it's still the same as the best case scenario of quitting. So that's why not quitting is going to be the best option. Always the best option. So that was basically just like the the way I thought about quitting because now after you're demotivated, you want to quit and everything, and then you just flip your mindset to things like this. It's like all of a sudden you just you're excited to not quit. You know, like all that demotivation kind of just goes away for a little bit 
you still are demotivated if you don't, if you're just like walking through life unconsciously thinking about how this is not working, this one thing that you're doing, you are going to be demotivated. But once you actually sit down and analyze the board and your options, you realize that you're, you're doing the best you can anyway. And like you're doing the best option. So at least that's a little good news. And uh, hopefully this video at least helped you realize why not giving up is the best option.